What's going on? Today, I did another section of the corporate toolbox. It's really good. If you want to be a corporate citizen, you need to go ahead, grab it, get in it, because essentially what I'm doing is setting this up for the raw rookie. The strategic holding company is a little bit heavy. It's like going to grad school where the corporate toolbox is going to be designed for you if you've never started a business before, if you've never had a corporation before, and it's also going to be able to help you even if you are a seasoned business owner. Let me go ahead and tell you what happened. I had someone who's had a business for 10 years. He called me for a consult and this is what happened. I redesigned his corporate structure, redesigned his corporate banking, within three months got him in $250,000 worth of brand new Visa, MasterCard, American Express, and lines of credit, corporate funding, because he's been in business for a while, and I just said, we'll just submit your tax returns, and he got the funding that he wanted, and essentially, he is now in a position where he can grow his company beyond his wildest expectations because he was a hard working, he managed his money well, but after talking to me, we put in protocols and processes of where he's managing his money much better, and now this is gonna be his first six figure month. And the dude's been in business for 10 years. This is going to be his first six figure month. Now part of the issue is, well, part he already had a business. He was already in the game. He was already playing the corporate game, but he was playing it at a rookie level because he didn't know what he didn't know. See, there are many really smart people who have businesses, but they don't know what they don't know. And this is where I come in. I went, you know, one of the best jobs I ever had was at Renegade because I learned how to create a corporate sales process. And for many people who start a business and through just hard work and determinations, they build it, they don't even know this thing exists. They don't know how to set it up. They don't know how to put it down. They don't know any of these things. And this is where I come in because essentially this guy is really, really happy because he, he was like, you know, because I think he was doing like 30, 30, 40. And this is the, you know, this is the first month. And I anticipate in two years, he's going to be having million dollar months, million dollars per month. So he's growing this business rapidly. And one of the best things about this guy is he had no debt. That makes it so easy because we didn't have to go back and reconfigure anything. But I want to talk to you guys who want to own a business but never had a business. And one of the things is you're going to have to let go of some of these illusions that you're being fed every day here on YouTube. Uh, I have a few YouTube channels, like this YouTube channel, I have the ad blocker so I don't see ads, but on Savage Finance I don't have it. And I'm starting to see these ads and you're being seduced by your own laziness. This is how they're coming at you, more time lot of money, less hours. And the, here's the reality. This is your hustling godfather telling you the truth. Your first two to three years, you're gonna be working. And it's not gonna be a cakewalk. You're gonna be working. I have one client who had a job and we created a painting company for him that it took him three years to be able to quit his job. But the, at this point, the painting company was doing a million dollars a year. It takes time to grow things. And you're being fed every day. You're seeing these wonder whizzes. Like, let me go ahead and give you the game. Let's say you started an Instagram account and you got up to a million followers, a million engaged followers, then you started a, a company. Instant money. Because you already have an audience. And this is one of the things that people like, if you don't have that million follower Instagram account and you start a business, you're not gonna get the same results that that person with the million. This is why Kim Kardashian can get so much endorsement money, because she has 120 million followers. And this is one of the things, because you know, you, you'll see this, these people who will build these Instagram followings, and essentially what's gonna happen in the corporate toolbox is we're gonna talk about starting real businesses for real people, making real money. 
and it's going to be a process and it's going to be a sequence. So one of the things I want you to understand is if you, if you are where you are right now, you, you're not making the money you want to make, you don't have the career that you want to have. That can all change. And a big part of that is you changing your thinking. Because where you are today is a complete sum of all of your thoughts previous to now. You're where you are because of how you think. If you're in a good place, you're thinking correctly. If you're in a bad place, you're thinking errantly. And one of the things that I wanna do with the corporate toolbox, because like I said, my agenda is 50,000 new corporate citizens in the next five years. And what is a corporate citizen? This is someone who has holding company in two to six operating companies that is creating revenue, that is creating a fulfilling, happy, wonderful life. Because today is Saturday, and I woke up and I kind of lounged in bed because, you know, I'm probably going to start taking Fridays and Saturdays off. And part of this is I'm building a team, and this is something that I'm going to teach you in the corporate toolbox. Like for the YouTube business, I have three editors and I'm about to get another one because what has happened is the lack of, because, you know, just to go aside, to properly edit a video could take you five to eight hours because this is what you have to do. You have to cut the footage, then you have to watch it, then you edit it, then you watch it again, then you edit it, then you watch it again, then you edit it, then you put elements into it. And this is really, really time consuming. But now that I have three, soon to be four editors, that is saving me 50, 60 hours a week. I couldn't run the YouTube business without editors. It, it wouldn't be happening because I would be putting up a bunch of unedited, sorry, long videos without that special snap and pow. So I'm building a team. So I got the YouTube business almost where I want it. You know, I figure I'll be there in December. And I'm going to be doing, because this is how the corporate toolbox is going to go. I'm going to do sections first, and I want you to go through the sections, and then I'm going to schedule a webinar five days to seven days after I drop that fifth section to give you time to get your stuff together so you can be there. I'm probably going to do webinars in the evening, and it's probably gonna be like at like seven something. And then, or maybe the weekends, I don't know. We'll just see how we go there. But essentially, what I wanna do is create 50,000 me. What does that look like? What does that feel like? 50,000 people that if they wanted to, they can go pay cash for a Porsche. 50,000 people that if they wanna get into rental real estate, they can pay cash for their houses. This is what I want to achieve. This is what I wanna create. Because if I can create 50,000 corporate citizens, I will touch millions of people. I will touch the children of these people, the employees of these people, the spouses of the people, and the community of these people. And that is a worthy goal. It's the biggest goal that I've ever had in my life, really. And what I wanna do is facilitate this network because the other, just today, I had a live stream on Savage Finance because we're probably gonna have one to two live streams a week on Savage Finance. I'm not gonna do what I did over here. I'm not doing that. But I want you guys to understand that there is great opportunity today. There is so many things that you can get done today. There are so many things that are open to you, but let's go back to you don't know what you don't have. I had someone on the live stream that was recommended that he start a C Corp, and I don't know why, because unless you're gonna go public or you're gonna try to raise funds, or you're gonna try to sell shares of your company to investors, I don't really see this point in starting a C Corp. And if you wanna check my math, go to the Seattle, Washington Secretary of State and see how many LLCs Amazon.com Amazon owns. Amazon owns a bunch of LLCs, not C Corp. It's the C Corp that owns the LLCs. And there's a reason that they started these LLCs to avoid the dual taxation, because some of these LLCs in their own rights would be multi-billion dollar companies. 
like Amazon uh, Prime is a billion dollar company. Amazon um, Hosting Services, Amazon Web Services is a multi-billion dollar company. So they have a lot of little things. And this is part of the corporate toolbox. As a corporate citizen, you're gonna have two to six operating companies under your holding company. So we're going to go into this knowing that we're gonna start more than one business. And that creates different energy, that creates a different look, that creates a different feel, that creates a different texture, that just creates different energy. Because I want everybody that goes to the corporate toolbox to become rich. I want you to be rich. I want you, like right now, and I'm not saying this to brag or boast, just to illustrate, right now I got enough money in my personal checking account without taking any distributions out the company to live into next year. And then I got enough money in my business accounts to go out and buy real estate right now. But I'm waiting to 2021 because I have a plan and I have a sequence and I, I'm waiting for certain things to happen. And part of this is I have no debt. I got two luxury vehicles in the garage. I live in a million dollar house. I have no debt. I have no credit card payments. I have no and if I can create 50,000 people with a similar situation, I will be saving marriages. I will have facilitate little kids growing up in two parent households because dad is making so much money that mom has no complaints and they don't fight over money. I want you to think about that. Because I get jazzed just thinking about this, that the number of people, the lives that this is going to touch, the, the things that we're going to build, the businesses also doing the live stream today. We, the cannabis industry is going to grow, pun intended. It's going to explode because this is one of the things, I'm about to give you one of my predictions. The Rona has created so many deficit shortfalls for many states that these states are going to be scrambling for revenue and states that were resistant to weed are going to become very open to weed to get that tax revenue. You're going to see a lot of agreeableness across the board with states, with uh, senators, because they need this money. Also, speaking of that, it's September. There's still no second stimulus check. I want to put you in the position where you're not worried about no damn stimulus check. Right now, I've seen so many of these YouTube channels grow like crazy because they were talking about the stimulus check, stimulus check updates. I don't want you to be worried about a stimulus check. Like when this whole thing started, what did I say? I said, I'm not going to go for this government money. I'm not going for a government loan. I don't need it. I want you to be in that position. The next time something like this happens, you look at your bank account and smile. You go ahead and like, I'm good. We're making money. We're building businesses. We're doing well. I want you to be in that position next time this happens. I want you to be in the position two to three years from now, and I'll be 100% honest with you, it's gonna take you that long as a raw rookie. If you already have a business, we're gonna be able to facilitate your growth and scaling much quicker because you already got a lot of the heavy lifting out the way. But if you're a raw rookie, you've never had a business before, you've never had a corporation before, you're looking at a two to three year journey, and that's cool. That's really cool because the two to three year journey, the two to three years is gonna happen whether you're actively working or building something. It's, it's going to happen, it's gonna come and go. And what I want for you guys is prosperity. I want you, next time you're in Best Buy and you see this 75 inch television and you want it, you pull out your credit card, you get it, you have it delivered, you go to your checking account, you pay that credit card off, See, before the bill is even arrived, because you got money rolling like that. I want you to be rolling. I want you to be living well. I want you to be eating well. I want you to be doing so well. And it's going to take work to get there. Now, there are many people who have an issue with my pull yourself up by your bootstrap. But that's my story. That's what I did. When I was homeless, living in that boarding house, I didn't know none of this stuff. I didn't even know that I didn't know. 
And through exposure and constant growth and constant self-education, I'm here. Started at the bottom, now we're here. And it's going to get better. Because see, I got some people on here who are steeped in ghetto culture like, be careful, man, you're just rich, you're not wealthy. I had a heart attack last year. I spent weeks in the hospital. I didn't work for five months. Did I lose my million dollar house? Nope. Did I lose my luxury car? Nope. That looks and smells like I'm rich. It sounds like I'm wealthy, because see, here's one of the things. So many people are trying to create passive income revenue streams, right? Essentially, you don't have to do anything, money just comes in. I am gonna teach you that active income is better than passive income. Like my real estate plan, that's active income. But due to his real estate, and real estate is taxed differently, and rent is taxed a little differently. I won't have to pay payroll taxes on their rental income. And I'm giving myself 10 years to build this. That's gonna be my retirement. It's gonna be a real a property management company, it's gonna be a real estate company. That will be my retirement. You know, 10 years from now, when I'll be 63, I will have the option to work or not. Well, honestly, if I move some stuff around, configure some stuff around, I can stop working now. But why? Why stop working? Why stop building? Why stop growing? Because I was watching a video of this one of these fire starters who retired at 30, and within four weeks, he was going crazy. See, the goal isn't retirement. The goal is to get to a point where you can do what you want to with your time. And if you, part of your, your time, like today I took a nap. I was just like, I'm gonna take a nap. And now I'm doing this stuff. And tomorrow's a work day and I'm probably gonna start taking Fridays and Saturdays off. And um, I enjoy what I do. And I want you, cause this is how I'm creating the corporate toolbox. Don't create a business to get money. Create a business that you enjoy. Create a business that makes you money, but you have fun. You enjoy it. You like doing it. This is one, this is one of the differences because so many people are looking for a ready, set, made business model that they can just sit down and start making money. Like one of the big things that's happening now is done for you Amazon FBA. Now, I don't know how that works. But I have a feeling that it's not going to be as seductive as it is presented. It's not going to turn out that way because they're going to be getting fees. And anyone that has the ability to successfully set up an Amazon business, why would they do it for other people? Why would they just set these businesses up for themselves and collect all that money? Just a thought. Just a thought. So we will be talking about offline businesses and we'll be talking about online businesses. because. There are so many things, and uh, there's an inventory thing that I'm going to teach you how to do because you might be already positioned for a certain kind of business and not even know it. You may already have assets and resources that you don't even know how to take advantage of because you don't know what you don't know. So go below, sign up for the corporate toolbox. Uh, the price is going to increase after September, and we're going to, because I'm pretty much going to add content every day because that's what the schedule's been. And I'm thoroughly enjoying the conversation and the training and the things I'm telling you guys to do because it reminds me of my journey. I was dirt poor. I remember I was going to get my check one day and I had a car with a gas gauge. It was a little funny and I misestimated how much gas I had and I ran out of gas with my daughter in the back seat. Fortunately, a kind gentleman stopped and took us to the gas station, gave me money and bought me some gas so I can go get my check. That's how broke I used to be. I am never going back to that again. That is never going to be my life again. My life's not going to look, feel, taste, anything like that. And part of this corporate citizen agenda is if I can get people just to 500000 a year, that's a game changer. That's a game changer. Average income in this country is $33,000 a year. Half the people make $33,000 a year. Once you get to 50, 75% of the people in the country don't make $75,000 a year. 
money matters. And we're going to be talking about money. We're going to be talking about corporate banking. We're going to talk about business credit. Because my client, who has his $250,000 lines of business credit, has a business model where he can use that business credit to grow his business because he's a skilled operator. He knows how to run his business. This is one of the big reasons that I'm not so hyped on business credit for uninitiated rookies. Getting a lot of business credit when you don't know what to do with it can ruin you. It can lead you to bankruptcy. And that's why I'm really careful about how I put that stuff out and how I talk about it. But we're getting ready to start cooking with gas. We're gonna make a lot of stuff that's going. I'm really hyped to get a lot of people in here. And if you are a business owner who already has a business, you can benefit from this program. Because when we start about the scaling, because you know this first week is about things to do to go ahead and get your business started. And then next week, we're going to get into how to set up your, because essentially I was going to teach you how to set up a corporation, then later transfer that into a holding company. And that's just, it's cheaper and easier to form your holding company first, form your first operating company, and then start that. And that's what I'm going to teach you how to do. And then once you do that, then we're going to learn how to start structure and scale a business. Now, what does that mean? That means I'm going to teach you how to get clients. That's the big deal, how to get clients. You're going to need some type of marketing device. I use YouTube. YouTube is one of the best things, and I'm probably, for the people who want to go with the online business model, I'm probably going to give them a discount to the YouTube course. And one of the things that you should look at is online businesses as well as offline businesses. You can start a profitable restaurant. I had a friend who listened to me and I was like, you should serve breakfast. And they started serving breakfast all day because they used to be open from lunch to dinner and like virtually nobody would be in there for dinner. But when they changed the hours where they were serving breakfast and lunch and they closed for dinner, completely took off. She was able to pay cash for a condo and she's moved her store into this bigger spot and she's doing really, really well. So people who listen to me, because here's the thing, if you knew more than I did, you'd be living better than I am. If you're not living better than I am, you don't know more than I did. Just facts as they say in these internet streets. And I, I have to put that out there because I have people who want to challenge certain things, yet they have no receipts. They have no evidence of success. They're just emotional and in their feelings because I have said something or done something to rub them the wrong way. Oh well, you've been rubbed the wrong way. But go ahead, get in the corporate toolbox. You're gonna love it. It's gonna be fun and we're gonna have some events and I'm still working on the swag. But yeah, we're cooking with gas. So that's all I got for you guys. I will see you in the next video.